teachers, it's Trish from the UNTAC team, and I'm going to be showing you how you can create a new topic and assignment inside your Google Classroom called subplans. You can use this method for your everyday regular subplans, and as well, you're going to be able to use this to create three days of emergency subplans that will remain in draft form inside of your Google Classroom, and the kids won't see it until they're posted. So we're going to go ahead and head on over to classroom.google.com. Once you're there, you're going to select your Google Classroom and you can go to the Classwork tab. The first thing we're going to do is create a topic for subplans. So you would be able to call this subplans. And of course, if you want to be able to add the visual emoji cues, you can right click or use the shortcut of the window button and the period to be able to look for those emojis. You can type something like sick or whatever you want to be able to put that in there. Of course, you're going to say add for the topic. This is going to give us a place to put our subplans. Now I need to be able to create my subplans. So I'm going to go ahead and create an assignment. I'm creating one assignment for the time frame needed for those subplans. So if it's just for the morning, if it's for a full day, I'm going to create that assignment and begin to fill it in. It's really crucial that the subplans are very detailed. You're going to need to make sure that you have detailed written instructions for your students, pre-recorded video lessons of you teaching the content that's necessary, and any materials, links, or templates that the students are going to need. What you're going to do is you're going to add everything to this one assignment, and you're going to put it under the topic of subplans. One of the things we do have is we do have an emergency subplan document that was created by our lead online teacher, Alexandra Huffman. Here you'll be able to see that this is for the replacement teacher. You're going to be able to go through and see that it's the same type of subplans we would have made inside of our physical classrooms. We do need to have those same detailed subplans for our online classrooms. So you're going to want to be able to put in your, your procedures, your expectations, your classroom management, um, your class lists, your schedule, those different types of things would be in there. And then, of course, the detailed subplans of what needs to be accomplished when. You may or may not want the students to see this portion of the subplan. So if you don't want kids to see the replacement teacher subplan, you would remove that file from the post before you actually assign it to students. One of the nice things about being able to create the subplans inside the Google Classroom is they don't need to assign it right away. What I can actually do is I can schedule it to be at a certain day or time, or I can save it as a draft, which means it will be saved under that topic inside of my Google Classroom until I'm ready to assign it. When you are ready to assign it, you can simply click on the subplan assignment, edit the assignment, and go ahead and say assign. That means the students will see it in their streams immediately. So for example, you wouldn't want to post your subplans the night before. In that particular case, you would want to schedule it. You can see here that I can have a place to have my emergency subplans posted in draft form, and as well, just subplans that I have when I know that it's going to happen, those day-to-day -day plans and assignments that we make, knowing that we're not going to be there ahead of time. And so we will notice that only the students will see what has been posted. Any of these draft form emergency sum plans, they won't see until they've been assigned. What I need to do now is add my replacement teacher inside of my Google Classroom in order for them to be able to access the assignment. I'm going to be able to come to my Google Classroom and find the co-teacher. They'll now be invited and they'll have an invitation code waiting for them when they go to classroom.google.com. The final thing I need to do is make sure that my replacement teacher can use our class meeting link. So I'm going to go ahead and do two things. I'm going to make sure that I create a material for my class meeting link. and I'm going to add that class meeting link. Remember, you originally created that class meeting link inside of your Outlook. So you're going to make sure that you're copying that link address and inserting it as part of your subplans. So that way, whenever your sub needs it, they will be able to access it there. And make sure to put it under the topic of subplans. I now need to make sure that the replacement teacher is invited to be part of 
the class meeting link and that they have presenter status. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my calendar invite where I made myself the class meeting link. I'm going to edit that. And of course, I invited myself to create the link. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be adding my replacement teacher and inviting them to that link. What will also to be important is to actually click on the meeting options button so that we can go ahead and set that teacher as a presenter. When I click on the meeting options button, I'm going to be able to search for presenters in this meeting. I'm going to be able to search for the replacement teacher I just invited. And that is who's going to be able to present inside of that meeting link. Now they'll be able to share their screens and work with students. So that's it. That's your five minute tutorial of how to be able to create sub plans and adjust your meeting link and invite a replacement teacher inside of your Google Classroom.